wanted to recording uh, once again today because I come to know and get the knowledge from heaven today. And it is what I have told you about that I need a question uh, to so I can answer uh, you and uh, remember what have happened in my life and explain more I want to know if it's something you don't understand that I can uh, recording an episode and explain it much more in details than I may be not doing because uh, the spirit uh, is coming sometimes, often, every time, <laughs> almost, and uh, make my brain be disturbed. So I lost uh, that connection to what I was on my way to say. So it can be good if you ask me question and I can explain because I maybe have left out important things in what I'm talking about and um, I don't know if it's spirit is coming but it felt a little like a spirit on, is on its way but I don't know yet uh, but this uh, no, new knowledge I have got it was uh, a, a question that I read uh, on internet and it was a question about is there uh, is there a, any uh, third eye can we have a third eye and uh, my answer is that it's um, is most of it is uh, symbolic uh, that we have more than those sense uh, that we most people have and uh, that we can see things that uh, people don't see that is the third eye and we hear also uh, things that people don't hear without uh, being mental sick uh, but we hear it we that am um, chosen from heaven and um, so I was thinking about the question and and the, I be I remember now that I have almost forgotten that uh, when I come back from United States uh, in uh, in 2004 and uh, I come home back from from United States uh, in May and then I met a man from Nigeria that was student here in Sweden and we be together and uh, one time uh, he uh, we met at the railway station because he lived in another city. So I met him on the railway station and he asked me, why are you bleeding in your forehead? He said to me and I didn't know. I said, uh, you are you're bleeding <laughs> and, and then I I, I had had this bleeding a few times so I knew what he was talking about and I got this bleeding in my forehead uh, without have done anything not scratch me or hit something that could be a wound or nothing I have not been uh, in anything situation that could have make me have 
something a hole in my forehead and it's bleeding and uh, <clears throat> I will have not to think about it because it left me it left me about 2004 when I come back from the United States it left me in that year and since then I have not had it um, and uh, sometimes I can see a little scar in my forehead where it have been but uh, it's today it's gone total gone and um, and then I was thinking that uh, was that the, the third eye but uh, that I was like in a spirit when I answer my boyfriend why I had this bleeding and it uh, it come open up a, a hole in the forehead and then it was thick very thick not uh, mixed with uh, any any other liquid it was only a thick red a, a string down to my to my nose root or uh, if you if you don't know what the nose root are is is uh, where the nose started between the eyebrow between the eyebrow and um, and it uh, it's only stopped there it doesn't matter and every time it go down to the nose throat and uh, and also that it's not like other bleedings i have had it's it was more thick and um, and it was also it doesn't thin out in the end on my nose throat it was not thin out it was this thick red string down to my to my nose throat between my eyebrow and uh, and then I got this no new knowledge because I say to my boyfriend what is that he say I say that's one of the tag from the th uh, throne uh, crown where Jesus from Jesus uh, throne torn crown I say it was and he he was okay with that and uh, uh, but we we ended up because he he was catholic and uh, was not on the same way as i was in in knowing god so uh, it was only some mo month i was with him but he made some mark for me because now i remember when it was when i had this open uh, coming out blood and i th and today i understand it uh, it's open up my eyes this question and uh, that can be other question that you can send me that make me understand uh, about my walk under god because that was symbolic as i say it's a, it was symbolic even if it was literally a, a blood stream come out from my forehead but it was a, a symbolic that my walking with jesus was done it ended there and um, and I, uh, I was when i was homeless in the United States because I didn't 
knew God before I come to uh, just before I left Sweden to come to United States and then walk around very needy walk around and find try to find a solution and in that try to find a solution that make me test people in what they were doing when when I was the least of all people because I did those homeless people they had often a car to sleep in they don't was for me was uh, didn't they were homeless when they have their own private place to sleep in and um, and they uh, was driving around and they got so very much food from all can, kind of church pantry and churches that have their own uh, giving away and and they could do that and then they were selling those things that they got from the church pantries what they got for free they were selling it to sell it for drugs or if they needed something normal things uh, they had the money uh, for to do everything they were not really homeless but I didn't have anyone I didn't have any money from Sweden and I had no any money from United States because I asked if I could get some money from from the government in Virginia and they say it to me that uh, we can't give you any any help here because you get help from Sweden we have heard that Sweden take care of their citizen did they say to me so I didn't get any help I didn't get any food stamp or some anything from them so uh, I was total out from home total out from money I had nothing that's why I have this illness in my pancreas because I was so scared uh, before I understood that God took care of me whatever happened it happened bad things but like it was for a job in the Bible uh, you uh, God say that to the devil that you can do whatever you want with job but not kill him and that what it was it was with me that they did everything bad things they can could do to me those people out on the street because I was walking out on the street and I, I sleep in in the shell, homeless shelter so they were very bad to me and they say sometimes that you can't you are you are not from United States so you can't go to the police they say they they may maybe didn't understood or maybe they in some way they trick me uh, and they maybe not understood that I was smarter than that because I was in in four courts against people that have tried to kill me so that's how I survive also it was not only that I get protection from God and, and from heaven it was also the I say that the best best weapon you can have is in your brain if you're smart you can uh, go away from very much bad situations so you don't need to take up a, a gun 
or a knife because those uh, weapon can they take away from you and put it against you instead and kill you so that is not so good it's a much love about weapon today because the devil is running around and to whisper to people that that they should buy guns and protect their home when it is that uh, be smart like in my this home I don't have any anything that of value in my windows never ever I do that it's a uh, uh, if I have some more uh, uh, things that can people can attract people to come in into my home that's uh, inside my home not close to the windows so and when I uh, walk home when I was homeless but I I got a place just when my daughter come and visit me and I got just uh, just when she was coming I had a place called my home and uh, it was in the most bad area uh, it was one of the worst area in whole United States and uh, the police didn't want to drive in there if they drive in there they were uh, two three cars uh, not one police car could drive in there so uh, so people was robbed there um, uh, every evening and I walk from from churches in the evening in the dark dark evening and I always be, uh, before I come to to that area where I live I always took away my uh, my watch wrist rock, watch uh, and my the few jewelers jewelers I had on me I took it uh, backwards so it was hidden it was only a chain they could see with nothing on it and these things I did and that is a weapon to be smart don't uh, uh, as a as a person uh, that is under God God's children should not need to have uh, any uh, guns or uh, man uh, that is ma uh, made of man no nothing that is from a man's hand should we have as a weapon because we have God we have to have faith in God that he protect us uh, it is what I, I was saying that they could do everything to me but they could not kill me but it's bad bad even if they don't kill you I have been raped and robbed and these things so uh, uh, it's nice to have uh, someone uh, with you living with you and friends that is with you as much they can so that is a protection also so it's not so good to have weapon uh, man-made I had that in Texas I had a, I had a gun under my mattress but it was before I knew God so my husband that was born in Texas he wanted me to have it and he showed me how to to open up the gun and make it ready to shoot we have four guns we have two guns and two 
rifles in our home. But it was because we didn't know God. I should not do it today, never ever have a gun in my home. I, I rely on God that, and uh, in uh, that way that uh, it's things, it's money and it's things they steal from us. But we, they can't steal our, our soul, our spirit, our connection with God. They can't steal it. And it's things they take that we can't take with us to heaven. That's how I think about this, about the weapon. But uh, it's uh, the same thing like religion that uh, people are born into religion and be taught how to do things in life and it's same with a gun there is parents that showing their kids how to to kill another person but of course they don't say kill another person they say protect you but it can be that they kill another person also but that is a half lie they don't say it that you can kill it's very few maybe some say it but this was the uh, what I wanted to say in this episode that uh, that I know the year when when Jesus was uh, going away uh, walking parallel with me uh, for four years and then it start my education without Jesus so now I know that I'm very happy to know uh, the year it ended because I have thinking how the end should be because I was walking with Jesus like a parallel but as a woman but I walk, I did the same as Jesus and uh, and I was wondering how will it be will they put me up on the cross like Jesus ended his earthly life should, uh, I was wondering how the end should be but now I know I passed by the end in uh, in late 2004. I'm very happy to be free from that thinking to how should it end. So so that's I fit in, in to what Jesus is saying that that uh, the spirit that he will send, uh, he will ask uh, his father, God, Elohim, he, Jesus will ask him to send a helper to us. And then he left Jesus. And I, ha I passed by that, 2004, and then it, I received and now I know 2005 it started to come spirits I, I, I have said it uh, recently I have, I have said that to you that when I start to heal from my walking in the United States all these evil things but it was evil even in Sweden but it was a spirit ending and a spirit healing and it's the spirit started to come and wanted to talk to me but we uh, I, I don't say that 
I take it back. What I say. I, but I was not ready to communicate. I didn't know how to communicate until until t- uh, now when I move into this new apartment in February, March 2020, just when the COVID-19 started to come. So uh, it was a, become a long episode, but I'm, I am so happy to understand what was going on there. 2004, Jesus left me there. And 2005, the spirit was started to come. So that was, that was exactly what the Bible was saying, that it's coming, those, uh, the spirit is coming down here and talk to us. So we, uh, and the devil is trying very, very hard and have success very much in to scare you off to uh, talk to this, the spirits that's coming through. Uh, the devil is telling you that it's demons that is coming. So you are scared when you see someone in, in your home or somewhere else, you be scared. And this, when you be scared, you block yourself to communicate with them. So uh, the devil have success very much in it. But you that listen, I hope you understand to open up to to those, and uh, and you should communicate with God first. Always place the spirits that if they have to go through God before they start to talk to us. So thank you for listening. I'm so happy to know this. God bless you.